just finished my last deadlift with 495. Again, I'm doing a little bit of the 531 Wendler. Kind of change up the volume a little bit. So today I did three sets of five. Last set being 495. I did 385, 440, and 495 for five. Um, all pretty much for stops. Uh, I'm gonna do some accessories after this, but I wanted to film before my battery went dead. My phone. Um, question coming from Facebook is more on the chains. I've been utilizing the chains in my squat. When to use them, when not to. And it goes along with the blocks. Um, I like chains in the squat and the bench. Uh, especially this far out from the meet, 70 seven days out. I do about four weeks, at least four weeks in the chains, and then maybe a few more weeks on the off the box without the chains. Uh, it really creates a load. Uh, so if you could, you know, you the weight on the bar is only sub 500 or maybe or low fives, but the weight on the bar is, the shear on it is a lot higher. Makes the setup a lot easier when you go for a single rep max. You don't have to do those overload walkouts or anything like that. The chains prep you for those, so those third, second and third attempt walkouts, especially because you got to really focus on your setup with the chains on. Um, I put them on the inside of the bar to kind of, uh, so I don't have to deal with them. But when I set up the set up the bar, the rest of the workout I leave the chains on. Um, I cut them out. You know, the box is important to cut out. The chains you can mix back and forth, but within six weeks of the meet, I don't mess with them. So that would be kind of where I would put it. Around six weeks out, you're, you're done with the chains, done with the boxes. Uh, trying to think of the other questions we had. In the best press, you can keep the chains on for a while until you go into the gear. Um, it'll create that overload in the triceps. Uh, just good work, I like it. They're not crazy heavy chains, guys. They're, they're, they're smaller chains. I'm actually looking to get some heavier chains so I could and create and create it heavier heavier pull on the on the on the squat so I'm looking at getting heavier chains but in the bench you could train up to three weeks out with the chains on the bench it'll help your lockout for sure all right tomorrow is uh, an off day for me but I'm bringing my son in and doing workouts with my son and then Thursday I'm back in here for narrow grip and shoulders uh, so you guys have a good day and uh, see you on Thursday